Hello, Gamer Nob is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob reach max level in this new One Piece game, Haze Peace. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nob when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Okay, so we're gonna spin races to start this game up. So we have three free spins. So our goal is the D clan, but I think, oh, we got the Elf clan, one of the most common races. Okay, let's spin it one more time. Okay, and we will be getting human. Okay, no buffs. So obviously, we're gonna spin one more time. And please give me something that is better than a common race piece. Oh, we got that three-eyed tribe, and that's all, guys. Anyways, we're gonna start our grinding journey. And the good thing here, guys, is there are daily rewards. Check this out, guys. Two times experience for one hour. Since we're a newbie in this game, we're gonna claim it and start grinding. So first up, here we go. Quest giver Amelia. So what level one we will be targeting thieves. So we need to defeat four, right? So level one. So guys, we have M1 here. M1 here is really good. Check it out. See that guys? There you go. Okay, so it's a check for me. Okay. Basing on the previous games that I played, this one's good. Okay. So level 10. Okay. We will be defeating bandits. Okay. So here we're back with the bandits. There you go. Okay, so there's also a, an alternate quest at Poopy Kim. Okay, you need to gather five pumpkins. So it's really easy. Just uh, hold your E button. There you go. Get five and return it to Kim. And you will level up. So guys, it really depends on you. If what do you want to do. So okay, there you go. At level 25, Bandit Boss. Uh, sounds familiar. And this is the Heavy Punch, the Z skill. Also, we have a block system here. There you go, guys. Check this out. Whoa, really cool, right? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna defeat this bandit boss. Also, guys, the M1 of the enemies uh, looks a lot better. So, we got an item, the eye patch. Wow, looks good. <laughs> so, okay, there you go. We're gonna continue grinding. And, guys, check this out. Our first fruit in the game. We got, obviously, this looks like the chop fruit, but... Uh, the small version <laughs> okay so there you go every time you eat one you will respawn okay so let's try it so we have the z skill the chop fist and at level 40 we can now move on to our next island there you go level 40 you can explore new islands so let's hop on a boat there you go wow this looks good and guys we already have a map here i'm gonna show you the map there it is okay so our next target is the level 40 island Oh, obviously, this is the yeah Clown Island, level 40. Okay, first target, the Pirate Clowns. So guys, we will be unlocking our split car here. The X skill. There you go. Oh, oh damage. Check it out, guys. A Buddha user. Guys, if ever you damage the enemies, you will still gain uh, experience even though the enemy defeated it. Okay? Okay, so moving on. Our next target level is level 60. After that, we can start defeating... This dude, the clown boss, oh, basically this one's buggy. <laughs> okay, so he has his own skill. There you go, the festival. Our festival still locked, but again, no problem defeating him. Okay, so we, there's a chance that you can get the clown nose here. So we're going to try and equip that one. Plus another bonus spin. We're going to spin later, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I really want to get the legendary or the D clan, D will, whatever raises that. There you go. Okay, so you need 25,000 bellies in order to unlock the flash step. There you go. And after that, guys, level 90, we will head towards the new island. In the anime, after the cloud, next one is the shark, right? There you go. The shark park, Arlong. So let's start grinding with the fishmans. Okay, so you need to defeat five, guys. Again, you can uh, grind or lure five at a time. There you go. Again, it's really easy to grind here, especially if you have better fruits. Again, we're using the chop fruit here, which is not th that good. Okay. So at level 120, the shark boss. Arlong, right? In, in One Piece. This is a stand user, I think. So again, it's not easy to grind. Actually, it's kind of easy if you don't mind dying for a bit. Also, you cannot be damaged by sword attacks here. Again, we're using chop fruit, right? So there you go, we're gonna spin again. We have three spins. Previous race is three eyed tribe, right? Oh, we got fishman. Let's spin again. Our goal is the mythical D clan, right? One more time. Oh, 
K O oh, Elf. <laughs> it's worst. One more time, last one, guys. Elf again. Okay, so we're staying as an elf here. Anyways, let's go back to grinding. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Target level here is 160. Okay, let's check this one out. Oh, Dragon Fruit user, <laughs> bully Dragon Fruit users. Okay, <laughs> so next up is the desert, desert island. Oh, now we're on Crocs Island, right? There you go. Okay, so at level 160, we're gonna start with the desert thieves. Okay, so again, very easy. Do are four at a time and defeat them. So guys, I think uh, we will be getting a new reward here. Yes, we can spin a new fruit. So we're gonna try it. Here we go. Our second fruit is, I think this one's a smoke fruit. Let's eat this one up and start grinding, okay? In this game, by the way, your your mastery is based on your stats. So guys, as you can see, we've unlocked every skill that we have. And to try it on the Desert Thieves, first up, the Smoke Cloud. Okay, actually, we tried the Smoke Fly a while ago, right? Next up is the Smoke Tornado. There you go. And we're gonna end this one with the Smoke Punch. Okay. We're going to grind here until level 200. And after that, next up... We're gonna kill the bomb boss. So guys, check this out. These bosses are jumping, <laughs> which is not good if you really want to do like a, a high ground grinding, right? Remember in Blast Fruits, we cannot do that anymore in this game, but still it's easy to defeat. Don't worry. It's just tricky. Check it out. It has a skill like the Magma Fruit. <laughs> there you go. Again, it's really good that we have an M1 on our fruit. This makes grinding really easy. Check that out guys, Dragon Fruit. I think they want more bounty. Another one, guys. Phoenix user. There you go. Really looks good. Okay. First, let's get the Skywalk located in this area. Okay. Just look for... Uh, this is Sanji, right? Sanji. There you go. Black leg. Okay. You need 20,000 bellies to buy this one. Okay. So, after that, next area is the Barati. Or, it is called the Sea Restaurant here. Okay. So, let's spin more uh, races. Oh, we got Cyborg. Increased health and health regeneration, which is good, but let's try another spin. Okay, Fishman. Did we get Fishman? Oh, Demon. Okay, walk speed, health, and stamina. Okay, so we're gonna go with that race. And at level 250, time to defeat the Craig Pirates. Okay, so there you go, guys. Yeah, M1 plus skills. Very good combination. Again, M1 of your own fruit, okay? Okay, so grinding here will last until level 300 and after that, time to defeat Craig Boss. So if you're watching One Piece, whoa, a Buddha fruit again. So guys, uh, let them kill you. Oh, we died recently and they will be helping you grind after that. So yeah, just focus on grinding and everything will be faster. Don't get mad if someone oofs you or kills you, okay? Okay, so there you go. Just accept that you're still weak. <laughs> That's the technique. And then after that, when you get stronger, oh, you're on your own. Okay, so next island is Logi Town at level 350. Check this out, low bot pre. Oh, charge ka muna lods, okay? So for 100,000 bellies, you can now buy the buso, okay? So in Blocks Fruits, you can use this one to hit Logi type enemies, right? So make sure to buy this one. Here you go, looks great. Oh, not that good, but okay. Let's start grinding now, okay? So at level 350, Marine Recruiters, or Recruit, sorry. And check this out. Boom, they were just died. I don't know why they do this. <laughs> Anyways, continue. Oh, see that? Even in grinding. I don't know why, guys. What's the point? Maybe for bounties. Even this dragon fruit user. Okay, okay. Patience. Patience is a virtue, guys. Okay? So at level 500, we're going to start defeating Tashi. There you go. Very easy. Use your skills. Left clicks. And again, use your skills. And that's it. Okay? So again, focus here. Also, guys, you can unlock sword styles using book in this game. So I won't be talking much about this one because I'm not yet that familiar. I'm just showing it to you. There you go. We have two skills. I mean two, yeah, two skills. Okay. Not bad, right? We got the two sword style. Hmm. CDK <laughs> in Blast Fruits. Okay, so back to grinding Tashi. Also, guys, there is a playtime like reward. So this is the last one. If you're able to play for a specific number of time, you will be getting a fruit. 
And that fruit is, I think this is the ice fruit. Oh, we're gonna eat this one. Okay, and we're gonna try this. So let's head. There you go. Oh, guys, we have a sword and we have one, two, three, five skills. Wow. So let's try it on Tashi first up the ice surge. That's a C skill. Ice pierce. Okay, next up, ice lances. Oh, what? Okay, we're gonna try ice age and try ice lance after that one. There you go. Oh, 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 we're dying. Okay, anyways, let's create distance. V skill, ice lance. Here is the ice lance. Whoa, and we're gonna end again with Ice Age. There you go. Okay, 450 guys. Next up, we're gonna use the Ice Skate to head to the next island. And we'll call it the Tall Woods. Okay, so guys, our first target in this island at level 450, the Monkeys. So again guys, with this fruit, there you go. We have lots of skills. This mob will be defeated easily. Three skills guys, three skills. So guys, grinding will be a lot faster. Okay, so at level 500, next mob. Wait, let's defeat this first. Shout out to the smoke user for helping us. Anyways guys, at level 500, next target, the gorillas. So again, V, uh, v skill for luring them. And yeah, it really depends to you. Use your ice lances, use your ice spears to defeat them. If you played Blocks Fruits, you're gonna defeat gorillas on the second island. <laughs> Anyways, at level 550, you can start defeating the king gorilla. <laughs> the Gorilla King. So let's check it out. Oh, this one looks good, but not as tall as in the, the one in the Black's Fruit. So let's try. Okay, Z, X, and V skill. Not enough. So I think we need two sets. Yeah, two and a half sets of skills, and that's it. Guys, Ice Fruit is really good, right? And it's for free. So <laughs> yeah, that one's good. So at level 600, next stop, let's head to Marine Base Town. Okay, to unlock Observation Knock, you need level 600 and 150,000 bellies. And there you go. So guys, our target here is Marine Grunts. Guys, with Observation Knock, you can dodge attacks and you can check their HP. There you go. Actually, you can see their HPs <laughs> even without that. There you go. So guys, Logi Effect will take effect when you have 5 or more levels. Okay? Again, plus 5 to their base level and you will unlock your Logi Effect. Okay, so at level 650, next set of mob is the Marine Captain. So now this is a 1-1 one -one match. Let's try our combo ZX plus V and B skill. Okay, let's check the HP. Oh, more than half. So I think three sets of attacks is enough to defeat him. So not that good. Don't worry, we'll be increasing our uh, fruit stat later. Okay, so just keep on defeating him until... Oh, someone's helping us. Thank you. So at level 700, next area, guys. The Three Islands. Okay. Aside from grinding, you can unlock your flash step level 2 here. 600 level is required plus 750,000 bellies. Okay, and to grind, you need level 700 here. Our target would be three satyrs or satyrs. I don't know how to pronounce that. There you go. Lure them. V skill, Z skill, X skill, and one V skill is enough. Oh, almost died. <laughs> one V skill, guys. There you go. One one combo is enough to burst the, them. So again, grinding here will be a lot easier if you use your skills properly. We are going to change our target level 750. There you go, guys. Stat check. <laughs> I know you will be asking this one. Here are the stats. Okay, so next up, level 70. Target is Minotaur. A Minotaur, sorry. Let's check our skills. Oh, this is one full combo and HP is half at half HP, right? So two sets of skills. You can also use your other uh, swords or combat if you want to make things faster. There you go. Easy kill. Okay. So again, we're gonna grind here until level 800. Okay, once you reach that level, let's head to the next area, Marine HQ. So here guys, we're gonna start with the Elite Marines. So let's check it out. Lure 4, guys, you need to lure them. They're kind of far apart, but easy to kill. See that? I think 3 skills is enough to defeat them, okay? So at 850, next target would be the Vice Admiral. Oh, in Bloxfruits, this area is the Marine Fortress, right? There you go. This uh, boss or mob is kind of tanky. Check that out. All our skills, more than half of 
his HP is still there so you need to use other skills plus two sets of your uh what do you call this ice combo oh three three sets if you are not yet good in using your sword skills there you go okay gamer know what is our target level here guys level 900 there you go once you reach level 900 next target is the ice admiral so yeah same skills with us guys uh, by this time our hp or i mean our blocks fruit oh sorry 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 <laughs> our fruit has high stats so check that out guys one combo half hp so we're gonna use our uh, sword etc skills so it will only take us two sets of ice skills to defeat him plus the sword combos so there you go we're gonna reach level 950 here and after that check this out guys this one's really cool there you go guys we're flying whoa this one's you i hope that they will change this one to waterfalls so there you go sky islands 950 target is the sandorian warriors again very easy two skills yeah two skills is enough to burst them make it three just to be sure we will reach level 1000 here guys we will be getting a reward upon reaching that level i'm gonna show it to you there you go <laughs> okay developers council blah 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 level 1000 award so next up at level 1000 we're gonna start defeating the divine soldiers so again best way to lure them is using your b skill and then using your ice lances for the main damage check that out okay so you're gonna level up 50 levels here and after that moving on next up is the holy soldiers so again guys make sure to lure them and use your skills and that's it so guys it's kind of repetitive at this point so we're gonna make things faster okay level 1100 the boss in this island we got the thunder god guys who remember this one it's the second to the last island before you went to the second sea in blocks roots <laughs> so how many sets of combos i think two sets oh that's the new skill Bicento, yeah, you already got the Bicento by this time. Wait, I'm gonna show you again the skills. There you go. We have the Shattering Impact and the Shattering Orb. There's also a chance that you can get the Sword of uh, Inair here or Thunder God. There you go, the Golden Staff. So th this has good skills the Thunder Blast and the Thunder Strikes. Yep, has a stun. Anyways, back to grinding. And same with the previous mobs, you're gonna level up 50 times here. And after that, next island. Guys, check this out. Next island is called the Revolutionary Base. So you can buy the level 2 Busu here for 250,000 bellies. And the level requirement is 1,150. So there you go. Exact level we're in. Okay, looks better. Next target, Revolutionaries. Okay, so... Mm, Again, same thing. <laughs> Lure 4. Okay, defeat them. Okay, so after this, are we going to see Dragon here? Monkey the Dragon. No, guys. Next target here. The Revolutionary Elites. Okay, 1,200. And the boss that we're gonna fight here. Can you guess? Comment it in the comment section if you can. For those who've already reached this level. Okay, so at 1,250, our next target is obviously the revolutionary boss but guys this is not dragon <laughs> check this out boom oops we killed a different one okay but it's kind of tanky to be honest so i think we need three uh, sets of ice combo skills okay that's two there you go anyways after defeating this one i'm gonna show him to you how he looks like there you go guys <laughs> doesn't look like dragon okay so our target level here is 1300 okay so we're almost there guys <laughs> be patient next up guys impel down is it called impel down here let's check it out impel jail <laughs> our first target impel guards so uh block fruits we have the warden the chief warden and what do you call this swan right so let's check Okay, so there you go at 1350 we will be changing targets next target 
Impel Elites. So yeah, so far we don't, we're not fighting bosses again. We're not gonna do server hop here <laughs> compared to Black Fruits. There you go. Okay, so guys, next target level is 1,400. So if you notice, uh, we change uh, enemies every 50 levels. Kind of interesting. Okay, now our target is the Warden, finally. So this one looks like the Chief Warden. Also, what I don't like with this one is it's hard to damage him inside his area. So make sure to lure him outside. There you go. As you can see, no problems in getting damage. The problem is how can you burst him? <laughs> Not that easy compared to other mobs. Okay, we obtained the match. I won't be talking about that. <laughs> also, there's a chance that you can get the hat here, the Warden hat. But we won't be equipping it because it has uh, poor stats, bad stats. Anyways, next island, there you go. 50 stamina only. Next island is the Cold Island, okay? So, we're already at level 1450. Target the Corrupt Marines. So again, this fruit is really powerful in terms of grinding. Two skills is enough to burst them. So there you go, we're gonna grind here easily. Okay, so next stop at level 1500, a new reward, we're gonna kill Virgo. Okay, so we have Virgo here. Guys, do you know him? If you watch One Piece, yes, he's really familiar. Correct me if I'm wrong, he's the first one shown in the uh, series with the full body hockey, right? Then comment in the comment section, and there you go. So guys, basically everyone's easy to defeat, <laughs> as long as you have the right fruit. Okay. So guys, there you go, as you can see, we got the shades, well, it looks good. So we're gonna continue grinding here until 1550. So next up is Snow Harpy, guys. I know I have no right to like uh, tell the developers that I think Virgo is stronger than Harpy and One Piece. Maybe they're just mixing things up, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's go. There you go. Boom. Easy. So this is the last enemy here. Really looks good, guys, to be honest. No Harpy. Okay, so our target here is level 1600, right? After this, next island is the Fishman Island. So this is the final island in... <laughs> King Legacy right in the first sea. So there you go, our first target, Island Fishman. So check it out, guys. Whoa. Is that gear 4? Bro, I'm in here to fight. Oh, he's helping us. There you go, guys. You look cool. Gear 4. So how do you get gear 4? Hmm. Guys, uh, don't worry, I'm gonna show it to you. We're gonna uh, we're gonna help someone get gear 4 later, okay? So better watch out for that. Okay, so next up, 1650 Fishman Elites. So again, very easy, same strategy, okay, so we stayed here until we reached level 1,700, guys. We're gonna skip the island fishmans, okay, so at 1,700, we're gonna fight Neptune, oh, <laughs> let's check it out, that uh, really looks good, Neptune really looks good, okay, one combo with our sword plus our fruit, half HP, there's also a chance that we can get his, I don't know, yeah, the trident as well as his hat. Hopefully, we get that one. There you go, okay. We got ne Neptune's crown, not hat. There you go. Also, I, I don't think trident is a drop. Uh, we need to finish a quest, I think, yeah. I think we need the fork, right? Fork. There you go, wait. Mm. Well, yeah, a mysterious fork, so you need to give it to the fork merchant. There you go. And he will give you the Fishman Trident. So that's it. That's the way to get it. Okay. So again, 1,750 next island is the Skull Island. So here you go. First target, Skull Pirates. Guys, we're almost there. This, this video is kind of long. It's my first time uh, making a 1 to max video with this game. Maybe on the next videos, I will make things shorter and faster. And also, I will be using only one fruit. Okay. Better watch out for that, especially if we get lots of views from this one. Okay, so at 1850, next stop, share you. Okay, the vice captain. Oh, I'm not gonna spoil some anything. Anyways, share you is the boss here. Again, guys, if we have lots of views here, comment in the comment section on what fruit should we use. Should we use dragon? Comment in the comment section, and we're gonna buy that on a new account just for your entertainment, guys. 
There you go at level 1,900. We can get a mount hmm. for 500 gems. Dino mount. Let's buy it, guys. Let's buy it. Okay, let's accept. There you go. And let's equip the mount. There you go. Hmm. Whoa, guys. This one looks great. We can tame a dinosaur here. Can it walk on water? <laughs> hmm. I don't know if this one's good. I don't I don't like it guys <laughs> next island bubble island so guys you can unlock level 2 observation hockey here at level 1500 plus 200,000 bellies okay you will have five dodges first target here is there you go pirates anyway guys I told you a while ago we're gonna help someone unlock the gear fourth right okay so don't worry I think it's at level 1,000, uh, no, 2,000, right, 2,000. So first, we're going to defeat Armored Marines first. Just 50 levels, guys. And we're going to skip, I mean, no, not skip. We're going to head to our next target, okay? So this next target, guys, is the G4 boss, so gear 4. So guys, on fighting this one, it's kind of hard, especially if you're in the public server, because everyone's grinding the book here, Okay? So there you go guys, uh, there's a chance that you might get the book in this area. So if you ever get one, you need the gear second first. So you need to like upgrade it first before you can use it. Sadly, we don't have the gear second, that's why we gave the book to someone else. Wait, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go guys, we got the gear for book. Okay, so you can drop this one, so we're gonna give this one. This dude here. Okay, there you go. Okay, so he's gonna use it, I think. Oh, he's already gear two. Go, bro. Transform. Why is he not transforming? Okay, welcome. Boom. Okay, guys, that's cool. <laughs> gear fourth. Cool. Anyways, moving on. Guys, we're almost there. We're gonna grind G4 until reach level 2050. Okay, so after that, next island, guys. Oh, this one looks like the Thriller Bark. But again, they cannot copy the name. Thriller Boat. Okay, not bad. Next target here, guys. Skeletons. So we're gonna level up 100 times here. At 2100, we're gonna start defeating the mummies. Okay, and after that, guys, final enemy is Ryomi. Okay, there you go, mommies. Same same strategy, guys. So there you go, guys. Final is Ryomi. We're gonna grind here, starting at 2,150 until 2,200, and that's it. Looks good, but this one looks like a rabbit. It has a rabbit face. Good body. <laughs> so, guys, there you go. We're gonna reach level 2,200 here. So, what are your thoughts? Comment it in the comment section. Should we make more videos about this game using other fruits? For me, I'm good with it. Just comment the fruit. And we're gonna do it, okay? So I think I'm thinking about dragon fruit. As long as we get lots of views here, we're gonna go for it, okay? So again, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. We're about to reach level 2200. Okay, let's reach it before I say goodbye. There you go. Max level. Again, this is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.